Today we are learning how to finger knit. The first thing you do is take your yarn and put it over the back of your hand so that it has a tail. Turn your hand over, still holding the yarn under your thumb. Go under over your fingers. Go all the way around your pinky. Go around your forefinger one more time. Under over, around the pinky, and back. Now you should have two loops on the front of each finger. For the first finger, your final loop is the, actually the tail that you put over your hand earlier. Take your bottom loop, pull it up over the top loop, and let it go on each finger. Always start with the pinky. When you get to your forefinger, take the tail and just drop it over the back of the work. Now take your working yarn, go around your index finger, and go under over your fingers again so that your loops are above the loops remaining on your fingers. Go all the way around to the beginning and then hold the yarn in with your thumb. Push the stitches down and then once again take the bottom loop, pull it up and over your finger on each one. Push your stitches down, weave your yarn over, under, over, under, around, under, over, under. Continue. Until you have your desired length. What it should look like on the back is a set of ladders on your third and fourth fingers. When your work has gotten long enough, say for a bracelet, you can also make a scarf, then it's time to cast off. This time you don't weave new loops onto your fingers. You let your working yarn hang off the back. Take the loop that is on your pinky and place it on your fourth finger. Pull the bottom loop up over and let it go. Take this loop again, put it on your third finger. Pull the bottom loop up and over. Take this loop again, put it on your first finger. Take the bottom loop up and over. Now you're ready to cut your yarn. with sharper scissors. Put your working yarn through the loop, the last remaining loop, and pull it tight. Your work should look like this. At the bottom where you had your tail, you can also pull that very tight. And then you should have two rows of chains and one row at the bottom. That's that.